Well, making a video without rap music and a hookah. Hey, I guess this is the reason I usually like wanted to blog because I'm too lazy to write. But usually, like I've noticed a lot of lately, all the videos that I make and that I even upload are usually just like foolish, like can't sleep stuff. But um, I guess I really wanted to like make videos about reality of people that deal with things like in well how do I put it I mean like pseudo tumor cerebri is what I have so I guess that you could put that in like neurological issues but pretty much under anything like I have that and I deal with medications all the time and I know like half the time I will spend hours like oh do the makeup right bend this way, take a good camera angle, oh, put a good post, make it seem like you're so normal, or you're crazy enough that people just laugh, or don't care, or whatever, but, like, nights like this are honestly kind of just terrifying. When you have, like, like, people will probably think I'm just a psycho, or crazy, I don't know what they would think I am. I mean reality yeah I probably am crazy <laughs> but like I've dealt with seizures I mean six of them and they couldn't even figure out what they were they were like are you epileptic they did every test in the world specialists every neurologist so you're normal you're normal they do a spinal tap they say you have pressure like spinal like pressure in your brain your brain thinks you have a tumor but you really don't went through medication after medication. You think I'm going to post the side effects of how I feel or what I look like? No. It's the hardest thing. You never know, like, those days when you, I disappear. I mean, half the time it's because the headaches, the attitude, the, the, the mood swings. You have, like, your psychiatrist. Like, I'm not, like, a baby. I'm not going to say, like, hide it. Like, I see my psychiatrist... And, oh, they, like, you know, honestly, doctors, specialists, they don't agree on medications. They think you're like a test rabbit. They're never going to cure you. They're just going to make sure you're living. And, you know, you get put on these medications, you build up tolerance, you laugh about them. But in reality, like, half the time I smile about it when I hear somebody talk about, like, oh, you want, like, an anxiety pill? Ha, oh, that's so funny. I love those. Like, yeah, it's kind of funny to you, but like in reality, in the back of my mind, it pisses me off because, hey, it would be awesome to have fun on medications like you do or any of you other people that, you know, do that. But in reality, it's like I take them just to feel normal. And like tonight, I was just dying for sleep. It's like two days. Like I tried. I tried so much. And then... Hey, you finally just, like, come to a point where you're like, man, I feel so weird. I'm so sleep-deprived. I'm eating like crazy. I'm looking in the mirror every day like, am I getting weight? Am I going to lose weight? How do I feel perfect? And it just, like, lost it. And I just took so many, like, different medications that, I mean, are prescribed to me for sleeping. But the doses, the doses, is that a word? Wow, I am messed up doses. The dosages of the medications that I took, I just, I, I was so out of it, I just didn't even realize that, you know, putting to, putting that, I can't talk, you see? I hope this isn't my last video, it's going to be on like CNN, but in reality, like, I took them, and then I realized like half of them, the mixture was like so stupid that I started to feel like I was going to have another seizure. And I've been wandering around the complex, and it's so scary, and it's trying to put on that happy face. I mean, watch, tomorrow, if I survive, I'll probably have, like, my hat backwards, or, like, I don't know, shitload of makeup on, and I don't know. But the reality about it is me, and I'm sure a lot of other people, deal with other things that they don't want to talk about, and I'll talk about it. 
I mean, like, I've de honestly dealt with so many, like, doctors and seizures that have scared me every day because I'm terrified that, you know, like, with the seizure medications, I'm allergic to, like, the top four they use in, medica in the hospitals. And if something happens and my friends don't even know about it and they don't tell a doctor, the doctor doesn't know, I mean, it could kill me. And, you know, it's, it's super embarrassing. So that was like one day when I thought, I was like, hey, at least if I talk about it, maybe others who deal with other things won't feel so bad. Because underneath it all, I mean, seriously, I can put on like, hey, I'm the happiest or coolest or I don't give a damn where I'm a gangster or I'm so smart or whatever it is. You deal with things. And it's hard, and it's tough, and it's embarrassing, and some days you just want to cry and put up a picture of, like, somebody, something from, like, a year ago. But I will say tonight really sucks because I've been panicking the entire time thinking that, oh, I'm going to die, oh, I'm going to die, because you get on Google and you type in, like, your symptom dizzy. Oh my god, that's for like everything. I guess the lesson learned learned here. I sound like a dumb ass. Like I didn't pass fourth grade. I guess all I'm just trying to say is like life is not always what it seems to be. You know, like everybody's behind a screen and yeah, everybody knows each other to a point. I mean, I've moved around so much. So, most people I know, I only know, like, you know, when I was younger, high school, just moving, like, literally, through the computer. So, I don't even know what I was talking about. I guess there was a really important point to end this video. I, I don't know. I guess what I'm just trying to say is, everybody's behind a screen. Whatever I'm behind, thank God, it's not face-to-face. -face. If there's ever anything you ever think about in your lives that you have a problem with, don't feel bad about it. And hey, I'm always here to talk about it. I have a zillion things wrong, and dealing with side effects, medications, surgeries, being a clumsy person... Things like that, ER rushed, things like that. It's it's not always what it seems. You can put on a pretty picture, make cat videos, and smile. But everybody has their problems. So don't feel bad. I think everybody has something, something great about them. And I think that's awesome. And since now I'm super loopy... And Coco wants to be in the video, I'm gonna lay down. But I hope everybody feels better at least. Because this is Jen, and thank you, Coco, for ending my video. This is Jen, pretty much just. Thanks, Coco. Talking about what I really want to talk about on my blogs. Okay, kiss the camera. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Coco.